Good morning, people. This is uh, Paul Golding of Britain First, a patriotic, uh, Christian-based, anti-jihad organisation in the UK. Small, but, you know, well-recognised. This is Paul Golding, the leader, one of the joint leaders, telling you a few basic truths about a certain prophet. Yes, oh yes, they say, they portray him as, as this beautiful person, never hurt a fly, oh, he's so kind to children. Hmm, well, yes, I just was going to play a few seconds of this, it's freely available on the internet, it hasn't been taken off yet, as I understand. Just play a few seconds and I'm going to show you some reference material, which I'll put a link to under the video, of course, so you can see it yourselves. Did Jesus take the slaves? No. Did Muhammad take slaves? Yes. Did Jesus kill people? No. Did Muhammad kill people? Yes. Yes, he really did. It states quite clearly in the Quran, he smited them about their necks. Well, what is smite? If you smite someone about their necks, are you putting a necklace on them or are you cutting their throats? I think it's fairly straightforward, isn't it? I'll just play a few more seconds and I'll show you this reference. But the Prophet Muhammad was a warlord who murdered people, beheaded people and dealt in slaves, yes? Why have you come here? 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 Why have you come yeah, and killing thousands and thousands of people is trivia. Yeah, he really did do this. Uh, here's a page, this is from America, but it's got all the, all the references. This is from, transferred into English, of course. This is from Al-Bukhari, the main writer of the so-called Holy Quran. I'll just pull it back a bit there. Zoomed in a bit too much. Yes, Muhammad, sex slaves and massacres. Can you see that? Just about, yes, in Islam's own writing... Writings, Muhammad's sex slaves and massacres. Yes, he really did. He really was a slave dealer. He, he was a very prolific slave dealer. He dealt in black slaves, in obviously white European slaves, I suppose, when he could get his hands on them. Well, that came later. And he did behead pe many, many people. The historians tell us he, him and his gang of, well, gangsters, warlords, you know, thieves, looters perverts did kill between five and ten thousand people just on his part of the Arabian Peninsula obviously after his death after he was poisoned by one of his uh, one of his victims yes this Jewish woman she they ran in and as normal they beheaded all the men they took all the women as slaves and obviously all the young children especially oh young children very valuable this is what built Islam human slave trade Human slave trading, and uh, as today with our rape gangs attacking all the all the white naive girls in kebab houses and and you know private hire taxis. Yes, they were very valued. Oh yes, it, on this page it states quite clearly several several of his early massacres. In the massacre of Banakwaza, Muhammad ordered the beheadings of six hundred to nine hundred adult men, determined by pubic hair growth, and if the boys. Weren't behead if the, the older boys like weren't beheaded as men, the fate wasn't much better because they get sold to old perverts to get bombed for years. And when they finished with them, they used to castrate them and sell them as labour slaves. They used to cut it all off and sell them as labour slaves. So I think really probably uh, you know the older the older boys got a better deal, a quick end. There's many many massacres listed in the in this book, many many many. Just Gestapo-style massacres. He slit the throats, kicked them into trenches. This is the fact. It actually says how he had, he had trenches dug to, to do these pre-planned massacres to avoid, you know, any diseases and what have you. According to these Muslims, Muhammad would turn up in a town, give them a choice, convert to Islam or die, and remember the Jews, 700 Jews, refused to convert, so he had them all beheaded. There you go, Banu Kweza. That was just the first one. There were many, 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 many others. That Islamic tradition has continued to this day. You just said that Muhammad slave trading is true. You got three guys here. Yeah, we're not being wrong. 
So we've got a dower stall trying to sell Islam to the local community and all of a sudden we're not allowed to talk to them. Even though we've got a table in a public street with loads of BS leaflets. Isn't that strange? But suddenly we don't want to discuss it because he knows about their book. <laughs> harassing them by telling the truth of what's in their holy book because according to their holy book us paul golding me president trump are all dirty low lowly animals the lowliest of beasts stupid perverts because we deny the divinity of allah this savagery this slave dealing this mass murder this racism and super nazi supremacism is all through the hadiths and the quran as paul knows as i know as Jada knows and uh, indeed Tommy knows it's all through it it's never been about peace it's about war dominance taking slaves taking continents and Islam has in fact destroyed at least four civilizations <laughs> in its inglorious bloodthirsty history so have a look at this guys the full video um, I was busy picking up um, one of our activists that had been lost so we managed to find him so i just got the back end of this so have a look at paul golding telling the truth about the quran which according to theresa may and the lovies and the labor party is borderline hate speech <laughs> okay. see you guys bye bye